This wax. What is it? How to get it? And what do I do with it? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at Vizwax. This rather expensive item is generated from the Rune Goldberg machine, which is located at the top of the Wizard Tower. Today we'll be looking at what it is, why you want to get it, and how you can get it. Usually I just add this one at the end of my dailies list and use the runes that I collect to fill it from the various shops, but I think there's probably more to it than that. What is Vizwax? Vizwax is a sticky goo created from runes using the Rune Goldberg machine, a distraction and diversion. The machine can be used once each day with a maximum possible output of 100 Vizwax. It has a variety of uses including the ability to extend the duration of most auras, increase the player's divine location gathering limits, daily challenges or convert it into charges for quick home teleports. How to get Vizwax To get Vizwax you have to use the Rune Goldburn machine located in the top of the Wizard Tower. The easiest way to get there is just using the Wicked Hood teleport. You can right click the hood and teleport to the Rune Crafting Guild, then enter the portal up the stairs. If you have the 99 Rune Crafting Cape you can right click on it and press activate to show which is the best rune type to use on the machine as this does change daily. Then you click the machine and it will show an interface where you can add three different types of runes. It accesses runes from your inventory and your bank. I usually recommend just using the perk from the 99 cape unless it's really expensive and then just shuffle your cheapest runes in the other two slots. It shows how many Vizwax you will receive when you add them to the other slots. Just aim for the most amount of Vizwax with the least amount of rune cost. As you add the runes, there will be a little face on the left hand side of the rune showing how well that rune is working for the day. You want to aim for orange, or to get it perfect, the green happy face. You can move one rune into a different spot and it will change the face. For every combination tried, the required amount of runes of each of the three types selected will be increased by 0.5%, which resets daily. If you want to try the combinations before you head to the machine, you can also use the profit calculator on the wiki which shows the rune cost versus the vizwax produced. Then you don't waste your tries on the machine. Before I head to the Goldberg machine, I usually head to Yanil Magic Shop as well to stock up on runes there. If you look on the, official, on the official wiki page for the rune Goldberg machine, there is actually a list of runes you should use for each date. I'd still actually probably still use cheaper runes if they are something like lava or astral runes. I've never personally gotten 100 Vizwax from the machine, but then I'd never really researched it before now. Usually I just use the cheapest runes that I can get on it, and I'm happy with about 60 to 80 Vizwax for the lowest amount of time used. Uses of Vizwax To use Vizwax, you can just click it to show the options. You can reset or extend an aura, this has to be done before the aura is activated in the first place. Reroll or extend a daily challenge. If you ex choose to extend, this usually doubles the items required on the daily challenge and also the XP gained from it. You can reset a harmony pillar. I've never actually bothered with this one, but this does reset the pillars in Prifness used for strength, attack, thieving, and also fishing. You can extend your divine location limit you can actually increase the limit by 50 or 100%. So it allows you to collect that much more of the resources from the div locations like the Rocktail Pools or any of the other divination created pools. And finally, you can add quick charges to your Lodestone Network teleports, which allows you to teleport around without the long animation when you click the Lodestone location. I usually keep mine at around 400 to 500 charges and then I just sell the excess Vizwax. Selling Vizwax. At the time of this video, Vizwax is selling for almost 18k each, so it is a fairly nice daily to do. If you get around 70 Vizwax per day and just sell them, you can be looking at about 1.2 mil in Vizwax just from selling, minus the rune costs, which is usually why I recommend just doing and using the cheaper runes where possible. Runes to avoid. On the wiki you can also see the current rune cost based on the GE prices for that rune. 
The ones I would avoid usually, unless you have a ton of spare cash, then you may as well just buy the Vizwax anyway, are Steam Runes, Mist Runes, Dust Runes, Soul, Mud, Astral, Nature, and Blood. So I think that's all the information I have on the Rune Goldberg machine and Vizwax. Have I forgotten anything? Probably. I'm sure you will let me know in the comments if I have gotten anything wrong. I hope this video has helped you out, and if it did, or you like my content, consider giving me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.